A U.S. Navy cruiser sailed through the Taiwan Strait a day after China issued a defense report warning that it is prepared to use force to defend its interests in the area. RT's Saya Tavinger is following the story and joins us with more. Saya? Yes, China has expressed deep concern over a U.S. Navy warship sailing to the Taiwan Strait. Now, this comes a day after Beijing warned that it was ready for war if Taiwan moved towards independence. The U.S. Navy warship sailed through the strait shortly after China cautioned in a national defense white paper that it would use force against anyone who intervenes in its efforts for Beijing to peacefully reunify with Taiwan. The white paper is also highly critical of U.S. activities in the Asia-Pacific region. Beijing has expressed concern that the U.S. is undermining global stability through power politics and that the Taiwan question is the most sensitive and important issue between China and the U.S. China is paying close attention to the passage of U.S. warships through the Taiwan Strait, and we have monitored the full process. We have also expressed concerns to the U.S. The Taiwan issue is the most important and sensitive issue in China-U.S. relations. We urge the U.S. to abide by the One China Principle and the three China-U.S. joint communiques and properly handle the Taiwan-related issues with caution so as to avoid damaging China-U.S. relations and peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan is among a growing number of flashpoints in the U.S.-China relationship, which include a trade war, U.S. sanctions, and China's military position in the South China Sea, where the U.S. conducts navigation patrols. On the other hand, lawmakers see China as their number one counterintelligence threat to the U.S. right now. I would say that there is no country that poses a more severe counterintelligence threat to this country right now uh, than China. And I That's say, saying a lot. That is saying a lot. Uh, and I don't say it lightly. Who would be second? Uh, probably Russia. Now, the latest U.S. Navy warship in the Taiwan Strait further risks raising tensions between China, although viewed by Taiwan as a sign of support from President Trump's administration amid growing friction between Taipei and Beijing. The latest Taiwan Strait transit by the U.S. Navy is one of eight in the past year. A spokesman for the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet said in a statement, the ship's transit through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates the U.S. commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. The U.S. Navy will continue to fly, sail, and operate anywhere international law allows. China has also denounced U.S.'s recent arms sales to Taiwan. And although the U.S. has no formal ties with Taiwan, they are the main source of armed sales to the island. And just earlier this month, the U.S. approved the sale of 2.2 billion dollars in arms to Taiwan, a proposal that prompted China to threaten sanctions against the U.S. And just this week, Congressman Michael McCall, a Republican from Dallas, announced that Congress is anticipating the sale of dozen of F-16V fighter aircraft from Taiwan very soon. Congressman McCall has been a vocal supporter of Taiwan and was one of the U.S. lawmakers who met with President Tsai Ing-wen during her trip earlier this month in New York. And although the U.S. has been selling tanks and stinker missiles to Taiwan for years, this will be the first time U.S. plans to sell fighter aircraft to the island, which of course will add already to the tension between Washington and Beijing.